Sarah gets to play the, the role of a uh, parent, and I'll play the role of coach. Sarah, you're live. All right. Um, I'm just going to set foreshadow here. A little set the scene. Um, I am watching my daughter's team play at a tournament. My daughter's not in. My daughter's not playing. My daughter is mad. My daughter's on the sidelines. Mm -mm -mm. And it's getting me mad. And I'm starting to get more and more angry and emotional. Uh, so uh, let's not do it during the match because that, that has happened. Um, after the match, I go up to, to Coach Sharkey and I'm I'm going to start acting now. Um, Coach, uh, I'm just wondering. My daughter is really upset and on the sidelines and has not played. That really is upsetting me. Um, why isn't she playing? She's one of the best players on the team. Why haven't you played her today? Oh, I'm I'm, I'm sorry, Mrs. Voigt. Um, I uh, I'm sorry that you feel upset and that your daughter's upset right now about their playing time. But um, right now is just not the time for uh, this conversation. I think. Well, what do I say, my daughter? Tomorrow. My daughter's crying. My daughter's crying. She's in the corner. She doesn't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I should. I. I. I'm really upset. Um, well, I, console your daughter. Hey, tell her, you know, keep working hard. Uh, sh show that positive sportsmanship on the sideline to support her teammates. Um, you know, there's going to be opportunities. Just right now isn't the time. Uh, can you give me the time, please? When can I? When can we talk about this? Well, Sarah, I'm going to ask that you speak to our club director over there on court 704 because I'm done with this conversation. <laughs> um, fine. Okay. Well, I will be staring at my phone and my email um, until I get a response from you. And see, Mark, this happens all too often. Parents, <laughs> coaches, not understanding. And this, you had just said it earlier. I'm playing faves, aren't I? <laughs> Coach Sharky, a, a different, a different, yeah, a different kind. You're uh, you're playing yeah. the right one, you're but but different connotation to the mom. Yeah. Certainly at this point, um, boy, if I could solve all of these things, I'd be the richest man in the world. Totally, right. this one, especially <laughs> this one is a, it happens a lot. You know, I I thought there was actually a, a lot of good back and forth dialogue there for the first half of that that scenario, right? The <laughs> the the mom decided to wait. Um, you know, not uh, while the, the match was going on. Um, and, and so that was a positive. Um, mm -hmm. when, when she approached Coach Sharkey, um, you acknowledged what you heard um, and said that you would be happy to have that, that conversation, but now is not the time. So those are, those are obviously the right steps. Great comeback with, well, what time is the right time? I feel well, like Sarah has done this before, Mark. I'm a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'm a little um, Not on the parent side, but uh, on the coach side, absolutely. It's absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the parent side, not so much. But yes, I have been a part of those conversations many times. If, if I were going to offer up maybe mm -hmm. one thing, uh, I don't know if I would say instead of, but in addition to probably, is uh, Brian, when you told Sarah, um, to continue to console her daughter and tell her this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. I think as a coach, I would, I would have said, I would be happy to have this. I would be happy to, to, to tell these things to your daughter or say these right. things. And you go have that, that, that conversation. And cause that's going to, that's going to help with the connection, right? If you're going to be able to salvage it and, and come out of something like that, it's going to have to start between student athlete and coach, because uh, really what we're seeing, right. Is, uh, in the eyes of the kid, probably uh, trust has been broken. They trusted you if they work hard that they're going to get these rewards and these things. And they, in their eyes, their perception, they've worked hard, but it's not happening for them. And so uh, for you to be transparent um, and honest and have that conversation, now you might not be able to get into that whole deep, deep conversation, but you might be able to go up and say, uh, Sally, uh, I can see that you're upset about your playing time. Um, I, I'm, I'd love to have a conversation with you about that. Um, just know that we value you as a member of this team. These are the things that you do for us, you know, or these are the things that you can do for us right now until we can have that conversation. I think if you can leave that kid with some positivity, uh, 
moving forward uh, and, and and to know that they they are heard um and that you're heard gonna, and valued right i yeah, mean that's exactly. what the the coach needs to convey right to the athlete even to the parent right um while still at the same time being respectful of club policy and being like hey parent i this is not the time right. nor the place yeah. um why is it that parents like sarah just kidding not like sarah uh well, but the one that know, she portrayed, portrayed yeah why do what what has you know and my parents would have never approached my coaches back when i was younger um demanding that I play, get more playing time. Well, Mark, and Mark, do you think there's a disconnect between the athlete and what's being said to the parent and what the parent perceives is happening? Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, a, a coach is making decisions based on spending time in that environment with the student athletes, seeing how they interact with one another and what they do. The parent is seeing their student athlete as someone that they they love and want the best for, and if if they don't feel that their student athlete's getting uh, the amount of love, respect, attention, or whatever they deserve, it, it's 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 a slight. Someone's hurting my child by not doing this or by doing this, and as a result, it's almost like a protective mechanism that that you know that uh, kicks in. Uh, and you want to protect your child. You want what's best for them. Um, and, and so you want to go mow that grass in front of them so they don't have to step through the weeds, right? They can just walk down the putting green, um, you know. And, and as parents, um, you know, I think one of, the biggest, one of the biggest services we can do for our kids is to teach them the skill of self-advocacy, right? If the student right. athlete is having, has questions or concerns, have they initiated the conversation at the appropriate time with with the coach? If so, and something else needs to be done, then there would be a process and a protocol outlined by the club, outlined by Badger Region Volleyball uh, to address that and, and add additional layers of, of people uh, to try and get resolution and make it a good experience. Um, but sometimes we we just we have a tendency because we feel that our kid is, is being wronged. We want to jump from- And protect you know, from, them. Yeah, the, the, yeah. the top step to the bottom step without taking any steps in between.